Hi guys, it's another beautiful morning and we are just passing by so that we can put a video for you. Uh, the today's video, we are going to be sharing with you uh, three main ingredients you'd never meet in your snail feed. I have different questions and I have answer for that on our formulating of the feed. We are be posting lots of videos. So maybe in the end of this video, I'm going to give you um, the answer or I can put that for another video. So, before we go ahead to tell you how to, the three ingredients you don't miss in your snail feed, do what to like this video, subscribe and share. Subscribe so that we can go up to 200,000 subscribers within the ending of this year. So, you are aware that in this, uh, we upload the video of fan plan, I'll be dropping it in the description box. So, click on that fan plan so that you know what is your fan plan from 2024. So, Without talking too much, my name is Isdre and you are watching uh, So you can see over there, that was where we do our snail pen that I always say in all of my videos how they are all destroyed So this is making it a year where I'll be posting video on YouTube and you can see we are still doing so lot of things on YouTube So we are telling you the secrets, the three ingredients you don't miss in the snail feed. Before we go ahead, there's a question about last two weeks. I think it was on uh, 31st of December last year. So that question was asked by someone, but I didn't write it down, so I don't know the name. So it was asked by him uh, that the scale, the um, the amount of quantity you have to give your snails in those feed, the present in those feed. So according to me, I don't use kilo, I don't use anything to do the feed. I use my observation, I observe them, and I know the amount of feed I'll be using for them. So if your snails, there are some snails you get and there will be a little bit a little shell while the meal inside will be bigger than the shell. So the quantity of feed to be adding to that uh, snail feed is calcium. So when you add calcium, you add carbohydrates and you add a little protein because if you add a lot of protein the meal the shell the meal will be growing while the calcium shell will be growing little by little so those are the scale of one to ten so that is how i observe my skin and that's how i go ahead to make the feed so that's how i observe my beds ah uh, sorry i'm talking about beds that's how i observe my snails before we post the video for that so i observe them very very well so that i i will know the kind of feed to give them because if you didn't observe them that means you don't know the amount of feed you want to give your beds okay so observation is very very important okay so we also observe them so without talking too much we don't want the video to be long so we'll be going now to tell you the three ingredients you don't miss in your snail feed so i also say this comment if you love the video there are some three basic nutritional need you need from your for your snail feed three nutrition nutrients for your snail feed so the first nutrient goes to protein protein in most cases all livestock we always add uh feed like soya beans uh waste of fish those are part of protein we had it it makes our bed uh, makes our, our livestock to grow so but for me if you want and if you have the money for soya beans is expensive you go for soya beans but if you just the one for low cost get a crayfish or get a waste fish that have been dried and blend it give your snails or you go for the fresh beans but if you know you don't want to go for those go for soya beans is rich i think it's rich in fat and it's also rich in protein so you go for that okay next one is carbohydrate carbohydrate the feed we don't miss in snail feed, in all livestock feed, is maize. Maize is part of carbohydrate. It gives energy and is part of carbohydrate. 
but maize is not actually expensive you can even get that in the rainy season coming so what do you think lastly is for only bees in snail feed is eggshell you give them eggshell which is part of calcium so i'll tell you why we give them these three ingredients which is eggshell maize and soya beans one the maize will help them to um the maize will give them energy so that they can function their cell which is they can move well they can be healthy they can be strong so the protein will make them to grow why the shell will make this uh, why the uh, egg shell will make them the snail shell to grow as the snail shell is growing which is for this for the calcium let me just call it calcium let me just call the snail shell calcium so that you understand as the calcium is the snail shell which is the calcium is growing you give egg shell it will grow you also apply soya beans for the meal so that both of them can be growing in shoulder why maize is just for an energy to give the bed and uh, to give the snail energy i would say beds to give the snail energy so that it can grow well so these are the three main ingredients you don't miss in your snail feed and if you don't add this to your snail feed that means you don't want to make any livestock feed at all it also goes to other livestock apart from the calcium source it also goes to other livestock okay so those are the main things you do in your snail feed in which you don't add um those ingredients to your snail feed maybe your snail will not grow so one main point is that if you don't have any of these ingredients i just make sure but i know you must have eggshell and you must also have um uh you must also have maize apart from the soya beans i always i also told you in the beginning of the video you can use the local beans or the waste fish you can use anything that contains protein that contains carbohydrates that also contains uh calcium those three uh, uh, those three nutrients you need those three nutrients without those three nutrients your snails will not uh, grow <laughs> and one thing is that you also have something that can take fat why i make sure soya beans why i didn't make sure fat and oil why i make sure soya beans soya beans contain little bit of oil, of oil which contain fat so your snails also need fat fat for the shell when the shell is fat the meal will also be expanded so you need fat that's why i make sure soya beans but if you know you don't have soya beans Add something that contains fat like granite that's done for the two that's um the video for the day so i hope you enjoyed the video before you cut the video like subscribe and turn on your notification bell don't forget to share the video so we're gonna see you on next week video about poultry farm so don't miss the video i also forget let us get 2000 subscribers within the ending of this year please i know you guys can do it it's just to share the video love you guys see you in our next video bye